Hello everybody and welcome back to Red Devils TV. Now Manchester United beat Reading 3-1 and first half a bit slow, second half is when Manchester United really came to life and it was a game that obviously, I mean obviously I know I didn't make a preview for the game because well I had a few technical issues, I've made the video first time but the editing software messed up and then the second time I recorded it, I recorded it in portrait mode so it just didn't look right at all so I just scrapped the video but the video was about four minutes long anyway it was just me talking about how will Eric Ten Hag rotate or will he play his first team squad I personally thought he'd rotate but obviously it turned out like he did today that he obviously played his full strength squad obviously he did play Maguire and Lindelof but um, apart from that I felt like the first half we could have done a bit better. Obviously, Rashford scored in the first half, but the goal was ruled out offside. So, yeah, um, it was a game that I thought would win. It's a game that if if United didn't win that, then you, you would be pointing fingers. And would I have played the first team tonight? Probably not, because I feel like that... It, it, I mean, it is only Reading and it, I really, I, I am looking forward to the game on Wednesday because I'm going to the game at live. So yeah, um, I'm hoping that I see more rotation on the game against um, Nottingham Forest on Wednesday because I do feel like some of these players do need a break because again, we're playing, what is it, f um, three games every eight days f until March, which is just ridiculous. So, yeah, for, for me, I, I just personally feel like that United players need a bit of a break. But, yeah, who would I give my man of the match to? I'll let you know in a minute. I'm going to do my player ratings. But, yeah, I feel like it was a masterclass performance from Eric Ten Hag. The substitutions were great. As soon as he went 2-0 up, he started making the early substitutions. That's something Eric Ten Hag has lacked over the last few games. And I feel like that's either due to that like, he doesn't trust his full squad always try to make a statement to the board by saying he doesn't have enough quality players to bring on. Let me know your thoughts on that on that decision. Do you think that Eric Ten Hag's trying to make a point to the board or do you think he doesn't trust the squad? Let me know down in the comments. But yeah, uh, David De Gea, uh, I'll give I'll give a 6.5 to. I mean, he he he, play, he played all right. He had, he made that good save on that Malaseo mistake, but again, my issue with De Gea is that I think he's a great goalkeeper when it comes to shot stopping and his distribution's improved a lot over this season, but he really needs to start becoming more of a sweeper keeper and coming off his line for them crosses because the fact that Reading actually got a goal against us and the fact that they're that player, I don't even know his name, the player who scored was like got a free header is embarrassing. I don't know why Lindelof was marking Malasia. It was just terrible defending on a set piece. But yeah, De Gea gets a 6.5. Wambasaka gets a 7. I felt like he had a better than a better than an average game. Uh, Maguire and Lindelof, I'll both give 7s too. Same with Malasia, I'll give 7s too. I felt like the defence looked a bit looked stable. They were, I mean, we kept the high line well. We kept the possession well. So really, everyone had a good game. Casemiro gets my man of the match. I mean, he scored two goals. He defended well. He proves again tonight that why he's the best holding midfielder in the world. And you can say that's a stretch, but Casemiro has shown what United have been missing for so many years. And when we get a, bo a world-class box-to-box midfielder or a, or a world-class ball-winning or deep playmaker, that's when United are going to be challenging for the title. Plus, we do need rotation. That That's also a key. But for a first 11, we need a world-class playmaker. And that's why I want Frankie de Jong. But hopefully, he comes in the summer. And there's a video coming soon on the channel about uh, about the summer. So, stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so Ericsson. Uh, he got subbed off a bit early, actually. And Ericsson, he didn't really... Again, uh, I th I'll give him a 7. I think he had a good performance. So, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't give Casemiro a rating. I'll give Casemiro a 9. Yeah, I feel like he had a very, very good performance tonight. So, yeah, Eriksen gets a 7 for me. Bruno Fernandes gets a 7.5. I felt Bruno played quite well. And, yeah, I felt like Bruno did really well. Antony, I think this has been one of his best games in the United shirt. I still think he's a one-trick pony. I think he's got a lot of improving to do. But at the end of the day, I also feel like that he also improved tonight with being more creative, um, making them crosses on the left foot, trying to get some service to Veghorst. I felt like that was really good on Anthony's behalf. So, yeah, I really enjoyed watching Anthony play today. Obviously, he did have a few shots that did that were just miles off target, so he does need to work on that. 
But if Anthony can try and perform like that every single game where he makes, where he creates chances and tries and takes his chances and be a bit more clinical with them, I feel like he'll win over a lot more Manchester United fans. And I, I back Anthony. I think he's doing really well. And I think this might be because that Sancho is obviously coming back to training now. Obviously, he's been training for a few for about a week or two now. So, yeah, and maybe Anthony's trying to step up his game to try and keep his first team position. But maybe he's also improving. Who knows? So let me know your thoughts on Anthony in the comments below as well. Veghorst also gets a seven. Obviously, he didn't score a goal, but... I felt like he had a good performance, he had a few chances, but yeah, I felt like their cost did okay today, so yeah, their cost gets a 7 for me. Rashford gets a 7.5, I felt like he wasn't better than Antony, I'd say he was the same as Bruno, he had, he had just better than a um, good performance, so yeah, 7.5 for Rashford. Ganacho, I'll give a 7, I felt like he did well when he came off the bench. Uh, Mainu, Palestra, both get 6s, I felt like they... They, did, they didn't really impact the game enough. They did okay when they came on the pitch. So, yeah, they are young. They're very inexperienced. And I hope they both go out on loan. I mean, Mainu, maybe it's a bit too early for him. But Palestra is a definite player that I would love to see out go on loan and do what Ahmad Diallo's doing. Or doing. Uh, who else came on? We have Fred. Yeah, Fred did well. Uh, obviously, he scored a goal. Bloody hell. Um, yeah, so I I'm going to give Fred a seven then. Um... Yeah, Fred did well when he came on the pitch. I'm just trying to think who else came on. Uh, I think that was everyone. Uh, let me think. We had Mainu, Fred, Palestra. Oh, and Alanga. I always forget about Alanga. Um, considering I can't remember what Alanga did, I'll give him a six. So, yeah. Um, why do I always forget about Alanga? That, that, yeah, Al Alanga just needs to get out, go, go, go on loan. Obviously, there's links to Alanga going to Dortmund or PSV. Both very good clubs. I think that would do Alanga a world of good. They're both very good when it comes to development players. And yeah, I look forward to if uh, and if Anthony Alanga does go out on loan. But yeah, apart from all that, that's my that's been my match reaction for the Reading game. I think it's it, I think it was a very interesting game. Um, I ma ma like I said, a masterclass from Eric Ten Hag. I felt like he he did really well. I mean, obviously he trusts his squad that and yeah, I think he just wanted to put the game to early, to bed early. Maybe he wanted to be two or three nil up at half time, so and then try and make them substitutions early, because you could tell t by tactics that as soon as United scored a few goals, them substitutions were ready. As soon as we went 2-0 up, that's when Eric Ten Hag started making the substitutions. So it was clear to see that once United went 2-0 up, then they'd start putting on the more inexperienced players to get their minutes, which is the right thing to do, I think. Because obviously you want to nurture these players, you want these players to slowly graduate into the squad. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing how these certain players progress and will they have a future at Manchester United? I certainly hope so. But yeah, this has been my match reaction. Thank you for watching Red Devils TV and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.